It's CMA Awards Week in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm Heather Bird, and right now I'm getting to talk with the lovely and talented Miss Casey Musgraves. How Thank are you. you? I'm great. How are you? I'm wonderful. Congratulations. You are having Thanks. a phenomenal year. I am. It's been uh, a, a year that I can't really even put into words how amazing it's been. Um, I mean, seriously, I, I could sit here and talk all day about how uh, how welcomed I've felt from just the music community, not only country, but, you know, a lot of other genres, too. And um, and I'm just really excited to be here. And last year for the CMAs, I was a fan sitting in the audience. So this is a vastly different year. It's crazy what 52 weeks a year can do. You know, it's nuts. Where were you when you heard about the nominations? What was that like? Um, I was actually in bed. I was asleep. <laughs> I'm not really a morning person, <laughs> um, but uh, but my roommate was yelling up at me from downstairs, and I was my phone was ringing off the hook, and um, I was just like, it was such a great reason to get out of bed. You know, <laughs> I mean, I would be so floored and so thankful for just even one nomination, let alone six. And I, I really, I couldn't say enough thank yous to everybody who was a part of that. You know. Speaking of thank yous, have you started writing an acceptance speech? No, I mean, I feel like the best way to go with those kind of things is just feel it in the moment and go and you know, just know that you're gonna your nerves might take over and your heart's gonna be beating fast and you might forget someone, but if the sentiment is right and you mean it and you're not trying to stick to a, a plan, I think that's probably the best way for me to go at it anyway. And I will really if say I get to get up there, I'll I'll just be so thankful, you know. That's well said. Let's take it back for a minute. Uh, where did you get your big break? How did that happen? Um, well, I don't know if it was like one big break. I think it was a conglomeration of a lot of like years of hard work and just staying with it and, you know, moving to Nashville from Texas and, um, you know, maybe my first big break was becoming a staff songwriter at Warner Chapel and I, I just wrote like three or four times a week with as many people as I could and really kind of came into my own as as an artist and a person and you know that led to me uh, getting to make a record and signing with Lost Highway and you know eventually you know a year after that hearing which was a year ago um, hearing Mary go around on the radio for the first time and you know I mean since then it's just been like touring with Kenny and you know Willie and Allison and it's just been like an, a whirlwind. My goodness. Getting to work with so many amazing artists what have they taught you? I mean, you learn different things from different people. I mean, getting to see Kenny out there every night, um, holding you know thousands of people in the palm of his hand, and, and keeping his energy up through the entire show, no matter what city or you know what he was feeling that night, was really inspiring to me. You know, I learned a lot from that. Little Big Town, they're so gracious, um, such hardworking and nice people, and they're family oriented, which is awesome. And um, I mean, all everyone, um, like I said, Willie Nelson, just getting up there and making it about the music. It's about the songs that literally changed country music and, you know, playing one after another, barely even talking to the crowd, but people were so enamored just to hear these, you know, crazy, always on my mind, just all these songs that just mean so much. Um, Alison Krauss was amazing. I mean, I've just, I've learned a lot, you know, Katy Perry, I just got to play a show with her in um, California and it's just been really cool. Yeah. So take us a little bit through your day for CMA Day. CMA Day, um, I think I'll probably, you know, I'll get down there pretty early. Um, there might be some press to do. Actually, I, I haven't really looked that far in advance <laughs> into my calendar. I'm just trying to tackle today. Um, One thing at a time. But hair and makeup will start early, I'm sure, at some point. I'm sharing a dressing room with Little Big Town, so it'll be nice to just be able to kind of breathe easy and be around people I really enjoy being around, you know. So, Do you have a ritual before you go on stage? Um, well, my band and I, we do this thing um, where we kind of gather around and we just like get weird for like 60 seconds and we just like, we just move weird and just get our energy out and just like, <laughs> just do the weird dance is what we call it. So, I don't know, it seems to help. I don't know why. That's super cool. Well, we are all rooting for you. Congratulations. A huge thank year. You. We can't wait to hear more. So thank, thank you, you so thank much. Thank you. All right.